<laughs> Thank you, Arsin. I need also to make my colleague Zainab co-host. Um, Zainab. You can share your screen. Hi, Rania. Hi, everyone. So Hello. tell my friends, share her screens. Um, Ersin, could you please make Zeynep co-host? Ersin Bey, Zeynep Hanım'a da co-host yapar mısınız? Hemen Şekilde. yapıyorum, hemen, hemen, hemen. Okay, I'm so sorry. Zeynep, e, okay. hang, hang, isimli... Zeynep, 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 Zeynep,
Um, so first we will take you through our agenda. So we have an overview of what's women at, our achievements, the main challenges facing women in educational leadership in the MENA region, and our next steps. Um, our main goal is to engage um, more women in education to take leadership roles. So Women Ed is a global grassroots movement that connects aspiring and existing women leaders in education and gives women a voice in education. Zainab, Even though, Zainab, yes. Could you just allow to, to summarize for them? Yes, sure. Thank you. You're muted, Tugcu. Evet, evet, gördüm bir saniye. Ee, görevimiz hani kadın erkek eşitliğini daha fazla sağlamak. Bu nedenle işte MENA bölgesindeki hani aktiviteler hakkında bize bilgi verilecek. So sorry. I'm checking chat box uh, also. That's why I missed your point. Sorry. You can go on. Okay. So um, I will just repeat this part again, okay? So Women Ed is a global grassroots movement that connects aspiring and existing women leaders in education and gives we women a voice in leadership education. Mm -hmm. Kadınlara yöneticilik anlamında bir ses vermeyi amaçlıyor uh, bu sunum. So even though women dominate the workforce across all sectors of education, there are still gender inequalities in terms of the number of women in senior leadership, large gender pay gap, and a number of women who are still seeking flexible working hours. Kadınlar eğitim alanında birçok hani sayı olarak fazla olmalarına rağmen hem yöneticilik kadrolarında az kadroya sahipler hem de maaş anlamında ne yazık ki erkeklerle aynı imkanlara sahip değiller. So our mission is for women in education to have the choice to progress in their leadership journey. Bu anlamda kadınları hani yöneticilik alanlarına yönlendirmek ve onların bu alandaki etkinliklerini gözlemlemek amaçlardan biriymiş. And our values are the eight C's. Clarity. Burada sekiz tane değerden bahsediliyor. You can go. Clarity, communication, connection, confidence. Collaboration, community, challenge, and change. Uh, açıklık, iletişim, bağlantı, güven, işbirliği, topluluk, zorluklara karşı göç gelme ve değişim bu değerler. And our eighth and our ninth um, value is called cake, and this is where we celebrate our achievements. Okay. Okay. So our journey began in 2015 with the aim to connect women leaders on Twitter. And now we are a global movement of volunteers who connect, support, and empower women leaders in education. We give women a voice in education policies and practices. Uh, so like Zina, the, the participants say that uh, there is no need to translation because uh, most of us know English, so you can go on. Okay, okay. So um, our journey now, our global uh, movement, we connect and support and empower women leaders in education. We give women a voice in education policies and practices. We work to improve the gender balance between women and men in senior leadership levels. Our achievements, we have um, 30 networks, 700, 750 events so far. We have um, branches in 19 countries with, three, with 35 Southern community members. And we have two books. And the latest was published in last December, in Christmas, being 10% braver. And now we have like a short activity that we would like to do with our guests. Rania, Dr. Rania. Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, Women Ed, we have a, a, an interesting thing that we're talking about 10% braver. So before we continue, we proceed with Women Ed Mina. We just want to highlight two things. This woman Ed had started with five ladies via Twitter. So the whole idea, the network had started only with five ladies. And they encourage everyone to 
start thinking and being 10% braver. 10% braver, just to make it uh, short and simple for you, how we can all participate and influence others. So we want you during our upcoming um, activity uh, and listening to our what we have done so far to try to tell us how did you practice being 10% braver or if you are willing to participate in being 10% braver, what will you do? Is this clear? Could you make sure that uh, they know the activity? And we will use Padlet. I will share the screen with you in a minute. Jeff, please. Question. Acceptable questions. Shall I repeat? So it will be better to repeat. OK. I want to make an activity with them. I will give them a link mm -hmm. so that they can share ideas. How did they be 10% braver? Or if they will have ideas after they listen to my colleagues talking about what we have done in being 10% braver. I will share the screen. Okay, ee, şöyle ki arkadaşlar eğer yüzde on daha cesur olsaydınız hani ne yapardınız konulu bir link geliyor şimdi. So you see this screen, you can just click on this and write your name. And I was 10% braver by helping my students. So they will just give an example of what we have done being 10%. They will listen to my colleagues and then they will write it, okay? Okay, okay. I think it's clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the link and I will come back to you after a few slides when you hear such different examples from my colleague. Okay, proceed Zainab, please. Okay, so um, our women admin is, um, we, ha we have three leaders. So we have Esther and she's the head of year six in Oman. And can you we share have the slides, Zainab? Oh, Esther, can yeah. you share the slides, please? Oh, okay, sorry, I'll share it yeah, again, I sorry. Can... Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, Esther is from Oman, the head of year six, and Rania is um, from Qatar. Uh, she's working, working now in Qatar University, and I'm Zainab, an assistant um, head of early years. I'm, I'm working in the UAE, currently in the UAE. And we aim to network and get people together to support each other and share. If we can go to the next slide, please, Esther. So we're trying to build a big network of leaders and women in education. And it doesn't only have to be women. It can be just also, also we include men um, who are advocates for women leadership to support each other and share our um, experiences together. We conducted so many events so far. So we have blogs, we have Twitter chats, book clubs. We share, we join in campaigns, um, conferences, webinars, research and publications. And what you can see here is in um, one of the, or it's an article about women ed in one of the Middle East um, published. Can you go to the next one, magazine? Okay, so these, our first, I don't know why the format is just like going like this. Okay, so we had uh, our sessions, 10% um, Braver sessions, and this is like, um, a series of sessions called 10% Braver, where we invited women from the Middle East to share their stories, to share their stories about when they were 10% braver and how did they, um, how did they face challenges and how did they move to their next steps uh, to be successful leaders in education. So these are some of our guests. These are some of our guests who really inspired and started our uh, network. Um, can we go to the next slide? Yeah, and these are some more. And we had, because in the Middle East, we have a range of, uh, of leaders and educators in the Middle East. So we have Western and we have Arab. So we, need, we needed to have a balance between local, um, between local leaders and expats. 
So we all have different insights and we share some common challenges, which you can see now in this video. Can we please play the video? Watch the video carefully because you might want to take some notes of how you were 10% braver like our guests. There's no voice, uh, Esther. Would you like me to try from my side? هي الإيجابية إن خلكم إيجابيين في جميع جوانب حياتكم الإيجابية تجذب لكم طاقات إيجابية في حياتكم وتيسر لكم أموركم وسواء كنت معلمة كنت إدارة وسطة في في أعمالكم في مدارسكم أو كنت في القيادة العليا تعاملي مع الجميع بإيجابية and everything were outside and we were bringing children back to school because they knew us then the community knew us as teachers and they trusted us going to the camps if you can see the camps bringing back the head teachers back to the city uh, um, bringing them all all of these people back to the schools trying to make them understand that education is important and we need to educate our new generation or Iraq will stay as it is without uh, educated people and we will be still under uh, ISIS or rep Smart. You go through a lot. Uh, you go through a lot as a teacher, you go through a lot as, as a person, as a mother, as, as a citizen, as like whatever you present yourself as, whatever you go as, you are going to be judged and you're going to be judged harshly. There are going to be lots of people who love you, but hate is always stronger. Hate is always, it gets to you. It gets to you. And I had to learn to not let it get to me. And I had to learn to be brave. I think the turning point for me was me realizing that I wasn't going to change who I am. Um, I, I kept trying to fit into a box that I thought was there, an expectation. And actually, every time you're kind of knocked back, I was like, oh, you know, it's me, that it's something about me. And actually, I realised it wasn't. The schools were just not the right fit. Had some, we had tried to serve a community where there are no laptops or tablets available, and sometimes not even an internet. There is no proper teacher's training. There is no community awareness about how important it is to sit behind uh, the tablet or the mobile and, how, and educate the kids. And then we had a meeting on Zoom, all of the teachers, and we said, you know what? We're not going to let one student survive through this without education. We're not going to, uh, to accept any excuses, and we're not going to give them any excuses. And it was quite challenging. Yes, so I hope um, that inspired you and gave you a little bit of insight of what's 10% braver. Um, so if Rania, would you like to share now the Padlet answers, if you have any? Yes, thank you much for uh, sharing some of your ideas with us. It's really inspiring. And I always keep mentioning an example of my daughter. She's nine years old. When she asked me, why 10% braver? Why not 100%? And then she thought and told me 10% braver, 10 times will make it 100. So if we can make it as a habit, that means that we are brave enough to continue and to proceed in our lives. These are the samples. If you write in the Padlet and the link, you're all going to share. So working in another city, this is yes, 100% brave, 10% braver. If you want to spend more time with education research, yes, definitely that's 10% braver. 
So don't think that you need a, a huge step or you need a big thing to be done or to be recognized. No, just celebrate. As my colleagues had mentioned, one of our values, cake, it goes for celebration. Just celebrate every single step that you're doing. Those ladies, when we started with them, our sessions, they said we didn't do much, uh, but when everyone listened to them, they were really inspired. And all our videos, you can watch them in YouTube. So please proceed and still we are waiting by the end of the session to see how um, any ideas, either if you have done it before or if you are willing to do it in the future. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. So um, we also conducted some um, international webinars we, where we got practice and research together. Um, we also started a book club um, and we discussed a few books and then we had a collaboration with Women at Canada. So we have like now a global book club. Um, yes, and the last book was Be More Toddler and where we invited also the the author, Emma Turner, and it was really nice uh, to have the, the author discussing her book in one of our um, book clubs. And then we had our Twitter chats, and this is, we conducted two Twitter, Twitter chats so far, and this is where we ask questions and we have a discussion with our, um, with our networks um, about problems facing women in the middle and as leaders. And now to Esther to talk about the key challenges facing women in leadership. Thank you, Zainab. So um, we've talked a lot about what we stand for, what Women Ed stands for, and what we stand for, and about being braver and taking those small steps, being 10%. Um, there's, there's a lot of challenges that face everybody, to be honest, um, but some face some people more than others. So when we looked at our region and, and the MENA region, we looked at there were a lot of people who felt that there was a fear of failure. And I think th this is something that comes up in the books as well, in the 10% Braver books. And this fear of um, not getting it right or fear of not, not doing well the first time you do it. Um, there's a lack of self-confidence and self-bias. And they talk this a lot, they talk about this a lot in the books as well. And it's it's called a, a thing called imposter syndrome, where you don't feel that you're ready or you don't feel that you can you can do the job well. Um, it's actually very common and there's lots of tips and ways that you can get over this. And actually, if you if you join on Twitter and the community that we have is that you can, you know, you listen to other people's stories and you share other people's experiences and your experiences, and it really supports how we can become more confident and, and move past these challenges as well. Um, often there's, there's a concept of culture between male and females, and this can come in many different forms um, and across and global as well. And there's certain things specific to certain areas about the role, you know, what is the role of a man? We talked about that perhaps some women feel that they need to do, you know, need to be everything. You need to be a good wife, a good mother, a good educator, a good leader, and it's a lot. Um, do men have the same pressures and how we can support each other and how men can support as well within that. Um, a huge issue is the financial gap between um, men and women, the financial pay gap between men and women. So that's that's been very big and how we can how we can bridge that gap, how we can be braver to challenge and negotiate pay um, and how we can feel that we we ask for that for that greater paycheck or we work towards that. Um, often there's a lack of professional awareness and how we can access professional um, progress and how we can get involved in projects. So that's a lot of the time, that's where our 10% Braver Chats come into where we talk to women who have either overcome certain issues or, um, or who have started projects and how they go about doing that. Um, balancing responsibilities we talked about that as well and how sometimes it can be very difficult to do that and what's the practical advice and emotional support as well linked to that um, some things that can be specific to certain cultures is social pressure to get married as a priority over having a career um, and how how can we how can we manage that and possibly living in a community that doesn't really encourage or share the opportunities um, around them. So how can we support women? How can we support each other? How can we um, be a practical support, but also give advice as well? So Rani, I think you have another activity. We're going to have a breakout room, is that correct? Yes, definitely. 
And now we want you to have some time to discuss with each other. So we will go into breakout rooms and random uh, selection. So don't worry, please, please, please. When you go to the breakout rooms, you will have only seven minutes. We are so strict with the timing. First, you need to introduce yourself to the others. Then you need to think about the main challenges. What challenge or challenges did you think that they were surprising for you? What resonated with you? And you will uh, think of other challenges and how can you deal with this? I will show you a link, especially with supporting women education leadership. Then when you come back, each group will have two minutes to present their ideas. So you will have seven minutes for discussion, two minutes after you come back for presentation. I will show you the other link that you will be using today. So we are trying to apply techniques that we encourage others or how we also do it in our classes. Could you just uh, clarify this picture before I took them to the screen? So, um... Bir link daha gelecek arkadaşlar. Bu yeni linkte de işte e, bir tartışma, herkes dahil olduğu tartışma grupları oluşturacak ve grup içerisinde 7 dakika verilecek. E, karşılaştığımız zorluklar, bu zorlukları nasıl aştığımız, daha sonra kadınların eğitsel liderliğinin nasıl desteklendiği ile alakalı e, düşüncelerimizi beyan edeceğiz. It's okay. So the link will be like this. You can see it right now. It's a Google Drive. Can you see the screen? Okay. So each group, when you go to the groups, you will write your name. So for example, Rania, Zainab. And then you will discuss the challenges and the ideas. What do you recommend during while you are talking? Just keep it short and simple. Are we ready to go to our, do you have questions before we go? Clear? Clear? Okay. So we will have five groups and it will start right now. You should see the name or the number of your group. Please join the groups. Join the groups. <laughs> You have a number for a group, please join the group. You have a number for the groups, please join the groups that had shown to you. Can you hear me, everyone? Please join the groups. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> join the groups. <laughs> Yes, Turkan. Join the groups, please, because this is taking from your time.
Recording in progress. Turkan, do you have any question? Please join the groups, everyone. Betul. Aysun, please join the groups. Kemal. Thank you. So did you all join your groups? <laughs> nope. Okay. Rani, is there any problem that I can help? No, not a problem, but I need to make sure that uh, they understood that they should join a group. Uh, the drive group or the breakout rooms you're talking? Breakout rooms. Hmm. Actually, I was alone <laughs> and uh, they told me that you had some kind of problem. So I just came back and- Thank you, Erin. Uh, no, but I need to make sure why they're still here in the main room. They should go to their groups, the breakout rooms. Um, now you're host, right? Um, yes. So maybe you can rearrange it. If I rearrange it? Rearrange. I will- yeah, The breakout rooms, I mean. Um, we can open a discussion over here. Well, why not? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Actually, we have got the uh, drive. Yeah. You, know, you have the link. Maybe we can do it. Yep. And you can All encourage right. them over here. Thank you, Adam. Of course. You're welcome. Thank you. Can you do this? You can start introducing yourself to others. We still have three minutes. Um, and ask okay. them to participate with you. Yep. OK. Um, so. Um, uh, am I going to speak Turkish because it's already... Yes, you can. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You can do this. Okay. All right. Um, merhabalar herkese. Um, şu anda Rania'nın paylaştığı bir tane link var chatte. Buraya uh, kadınların yaşadığı bazı zorluklar ve bu zorlukları aşmadaki uh, uh, fikirlerinizi diyeyim, uh, fikirlerinizi yazabilirsiniz bu linke. Challenges kısmı zorluklar, ideas kısmı da fikirleriniz. I think there is no problem with the drive link right now. Is there a problem? Because they're just sharing. Um, are they sharing their ideas? I don't know. Okay. See? Yeah. There I'm are some of them are writing. Right? I'm gonna do that too. <laughs>
So welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Time's out, I guess. Rania, I think yes. the time's out for the activity, right? Uh, they still have 30 seconds, but some of them had okay. already started coming back. If you want right. to continue writing, you can still do this. <laughs> and you can write in Turkish, that's fine. Türkçe de yazabiliriz isterseniz. Birazcık daha vaktiniz var. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you enjoy your groups? Do you break out rooms? Uh, hi, yes. Um, I was with Safiye Hocam. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, yes, uh, we have many uh, difficulties as a woman, especially in our career. Um, voyage <laughs> i can say and uh, self determination is the best key as we decided with my colleague that's it as short thank you brilliant can you tell us the main thing the main challenge you want to focus or an idea just select one um just select one of these on the screen i see yeah. The one that you had written, yes. Ah, uh, yes. That um, that was uh, inequal opportunities for our career voyage. <laughs> Great. Thanks for sharing, Gizem. Thanks. So, from the activity till another group would join us, you would find that. Internationally, we all face the same, but in different perspectives, different contexts, and different cultures. Who would like to go next? Who would like to share with us? Either interesting idea or a challenge you want to highlight? So as a woman, I experience glass sailing a lot in the administration. Uh, some, some of my uh, woman friends even said that Tuche, there is no need to be a an administrator uh, so this is good you're a teacher and you have so much time to spend with your, your family but i found this really disturbing and i think uh, this is also a problem uh, we women if we don't uh, succeed in anything and this was a glass sailing for me and there were barriers from men and also women I can say that. And also as a woman, yes, we have different roles at work and at home. So uh, I am lucky because my husband helps me a lot for uh, household chores. But I can see that some of my friends uh, have really difficulty for this uh, problem. And they should be a good mother. They should be a good worker. They should be a good wife. So this is a problem, I think, for us. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing this. That's why we have women ed supporting women, because sometimes we are very tough on each other, sometimes, and we make them kind of uh, more pressure that why you're not taking care of your children, why you're not doing this and that. And I liked when they mentioned supporting women in private life and their personal life. This is something also very important because we need to take care of ourselves. I know that exactly. we have lots, lots, lots of challenges. The idea that don't be afraid or ashamed to mention that you need help. That's not the case. And that's why we are here all uh, sharing those ideas and those stories to help each other. Esther would go also with those tiny things. You might think, okay, discussing a book, that's not going to help me. But when you read a book and when you share the stories, that's something going to empower you and going to give you more and more ideas and mm -hmm. more and more tools, skills, how to express yourself, how to avoid imposter syndrome. So don't think this is something simple, what they're doing this. The, the success stories behind this is very important, very crucial. Esther, you can proceed. Thank you.
So thank you very much for sharing. That's that's 10% braver. Yes, Esther. Sorry, I'm muted. Sorry, yes, thank you so much. I think the sharing of the stories and the experiences, I think that we go through, it, it means a lot. And I think um, that's what we try to do at Women's Ed, particularly um, Women's Ed Men. We want to get people together to share and to support. That's our primary aim. Um, so what's coming up for us, just to, to follow on from that is, um, Oops, sorry, is we want we're going to start some drop in coffee morning. So this is just an informal chat for you to come along to to meet other women or men who are invited um, and to just share, you know, what's happening, um, give advice, give support, listen to each other. So that's going to start this July. Um, we're going to start that on the first Saturday of each month um, and we'll post that on our Twitter page as well. We have a book club um burnout um which is quite appropriate this time of the year um but we will share with that so you can come along um and join you don't have to read the book um you can just come and join the discussions around the book and share your views as well um we will have more 10 percent braver chats and we've met some amazing people of a huge variety of people across the region um, where we listen to their stories listen to their achievements and the hurdles that they've overcome which is really encouraging inspiring and empowering to hear how other women have gotten over different things um and we do want to have we'll have more webinars as well sharing ideas and support sessions and this is this has really come from the community so we ask people what would they like some support with writing cvs have how to you know work an interview interview techniques and then some coaching as well so all of that is coming up in the next year. So I mentioned already that we have a drop-in morning. So that will be this Saturday on the 3rd of July. That will be our first one. So come along, bring a cup of coffee or a tea or hot chocolate and come and join us. And it just will be online, there. Esther, also, right? Yes, please. It will be online. At the moment, we have obviously COVID and we're all in different countries. So it's a great place to do it online. In the future, we would like to break off and perhaps you can hold a coffee morning in your area um, to actually meet with the with the people in your area as well. Um, so as I mentioned, we've got this book here um, that we are joining up with Women's Ed in it's Canada, right? It's Canada this time or Australia. We have uh, ladies what? from Canada. We have Australia. We have UK. And we you can also join us, even if you don't read the book, just hearing the stories and sharing your opinion, that would be 10% braver. Absolutely. And what we have coming up as well is we have um, how to use Twitter. So a lot of people we found were not familiar with using Twitter, weren't sure how to navigate, how to use it, how to use it to network, how to use it to reach out to people and to learn. Twitter's a fantastic tool to meet to read about to share documents um so we have joined up with women's we we edu <laughs> which is a group of women um two ladies in um abu dhabi in dubai and they're working with us to share that so join our workshop and that is coming up on the 28th or 29th we will post that on our twitter and our instagram as well to confirm the dates of that and as so i mentioned as well Sorry, Rania. Yeah, because we're running out of time, Esther. So if they have any questions, comments before we conclude, sure. you will also join us and we will leave you open with the question. Please, just the last slide. You have all of our accounts, uh, how to join us. You have our email. Please contact us if you have any idea or if you want to join us on one of our 10% Braver sessions, please feel free. Tell us uh, about your story, even if you think it's um, you didn't do much for us. It's a huge success and it's a great story to share with others. Um, if you have any questions, comments about a uh, woman, uh, any recommendation, anything that you would like to share with us in the last two minutes, three minutes before they tell us that we're running out of time. They can ask in Turkish if they want. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm Arkadaşlar to sorularınızı alabilirim e, diyor Rania Hanım. Türkçe de sorabilirsiniz diyor. I think they don't have questions. Mehta Kocuğum. If not, please join us on Twitter. You can get in touch with any of us. Join our Twitter handle. 
or on Facebook or Instagram and get in touch with us if you have anything or any suggestions or anything you'd like to share with us or touch face with us. Brilliant. And the last, the last slide is a quote that we want you also to remember from our session today. Uh, and our logo is a microphone because we want each one of you to voice your experience. So you will find a microphone because we really want you to share your ideas. And the best way to succeed is to discover, discover what you love and find a way to offer it to others. We have tried within this session to practice what we're telling you. Uh, even the activities, you can try it on uh, with your students and with your colleagues in different activities. And also to have some of those ideas to try in your uh, school, your organization, your community, even in your family and your friends. Just one question. Uh, once a time, uh, I tried uh, to use your WhatsApp. Uh, is it still active? You mean for women at Mina, WhatsApp? Yes. Uh -huh. We don't have a WhatsApp. It would be number one of us, you mean? Uh, from a, a reading book club, I think. Uh, we don't have a WhatsApp. We only have emails and the links from Zoom. Hmm. Maybe well, I missed. OK, I will check. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please email us and uh, just get in touch. I like the question because Turkey is, is, is one of the countries that we're targeting. So when we talk about MENA, it's already included. And that's why we wanted to apply in this conference. And we are encouraging you even to conduct sessions in Turkish for your colleagues. That would be brilliant. So just get in touch with us and we will support you. And we selected MENA, not one country, not, for example, uh, Oman or uh, United Arab Emirates or Qatar, because we wanted to have this kind of united uh, uh, community between different countries because we have share, we share lots of, of uh, challenges and ideas together. Anything else you'd like to ask about? Brilliant. So thank you all uh, much thank for this. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks a lot. It was a great presentation. Thank you. Thank you. For thank, you. thank 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 you. Thank